Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over the third or fourth album, I should say, of Victoria Monet called Jaguar. So I really did like I do like I do like her. I didn't I got her to a very, 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 very late, like 2019. And she had been she released like a good handful of singles. She just wrote for Almost everybody, including Ariana Grande, helped her with her Thank You Next. I think she also helped her with a good portion of her albums, too. Um, but I came to her, I came into finding out who she was when um, Ariana Grande and her made Monopoly, the song Monopoly. And I was like, oh, who's this? And people were in the comments like, oh, this is the, this is the woman that writes her, that helps her write her songs or producer or whatever. Like, they like a great collab, like buddies. And so I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So, this album came out, and I know I skipped past um, Life After Love Part 1, Life After Love Part 2, and Nightmare and uh, Lullab Lullabies Act 2. Those all came out around like two years ago, or 2015 for the Lullaby one. So, I kind of jumped into this because I, first of all, I loved her album cover of Jaguar. So I really, really liked it. And I was like, this is really nice. It's really cool. I love her look. It's everything. I loved, loved experience featuring Khalid and um, C or SG Lewis. You know, I love SG Lewis a lot. So hearing that and hearing that song is so disco and so like, you can kind of visualize the scene very easily. I was like, okay, I need to get into her now. So I did. So I waited for the album. The album came out, and I didn't listen to any of the singles. I saw the singles were coming out. I was like, nope, nope, nope. Album first. So the album came out, and here it is. So I have to say that it's okay. Like, I do I do like her voice. I felt like most of the, like, parts of this, like, some of the songs kind of dive into a different direction. Like, um, like, Ask Like That, for example. Like, that's talking about her fitness and how she, like, got all this ass because she dedicated herself to her health and fitness. And I was like, that's kind of cool. I haven't really seen much of a, well, no, that's true. Um, that's not true. Um, fitness by Lizzo is another one that did, the, did that type of direction. Um, I just, I felt like there were three songs I really, really love, which is Dive. Fucking Dive is amazing. I had never heard of it before this album, so which is great. So I got the flow of it and I really loved it. I love the mattress squeaking sound. That's very popular in, in that type of direction. Um, I love that. I love um, when she says, if you love swimming under the sea, then dive. And I love that. I, lo I love that she I love that she also added horns to it. There's a lot of horns in this one. In Jaguar, I love Jaguar, by the way. I This weird, slow, harmonic beginning, you're like, okay, is this going to be more sensual? And then it just like, it picks up immediately with some disco kind of sound to it, and I really, really loved it. I was very, su I was very surprised. Um, and experience, of course, I love experience. I think that you can definitely s just feel the S.G. Lewis production in it. And I know that the other songs were helped, where the producers helped with this was D. Miles, who did Ariana Grande and H.E.R. or her. Um, and hopefully, I do this right. At, um, X star or star S D T R X. I know there's a probably a cool way to say that, but he did. He's part of Jacob Banks, which I love him, and um, Ali Ali X and Taylor Parks. So it's she. She definitely had some good producers behind this. I just felt like I. My only concern I have for this is that it just felt one one dimensional you know i felt like we didn't really get to know too much about her other than the surface of i look great i love good head i love to have sex in them with my partner and that's pretty much it like it's pretty much what it's it's saying like i love to have sex with my partner i have a great body and there's some love in it but it doesn't really push on the love direction like you can't really say we're in love because you hit it right. Like, that doesn't mean anything. That means you're infatuated. You like the fact that he hit it right, you know? I feel like it doesn't... It made me feel like it was like... Maybe I need to go into, like, the other albums because maybe that's where the love actually is or where the actual, like, deep parts of it. Not that I'm looking for it to be super deep. I just felt like it was very surface with a lot of these songs. And that's pretty much it, how I felt about that. Um... 
I give this album, because it's an album, um, I give this album a... I give this album a 7 out of 10, because I want more. I want, I feel like I wanted, I feel like I should have got more than just the surface level, and I feel like she's, I definitely might have to go into the other albums to see what, for that, like, depth that she has. Um, maybe it's in there. Definitely Love After, this title, like, Love After, or uh, Life After Love Part 1 and 2, definitely sounds like there's a lot going on there, so I'm gonna get into that. Um, leave a comment below to me, thought. Um, if you like it, didn't like it, let me know. Um, and I, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, all that jazz, and I'll see you all in the next video.